And welcome back to Let's Play Steambot Chronicles. Let's sleep till evening. We have a date. Also, I do want to head to the hotels to see if I can find the hotel owners. They're easier to find during the evening because that's usually when they're like actually in their hotels. Other than like just wandering around the city. The city's kind of big. Alright, let's head over there. How's our hunger doing anyways? It is a free dinner, so... We're snacking. Okay. We should be able to get over there before we start starving to death. Also, Basil, what are you doing here? Uh... Let's not break his heart. Yeah, Basil has kind of a crush on Sav Savory. Was, why do I call her Savory sometimes? Oh well. Actually, it's evening. Let's do a bit of music. Uh, let's not do the bass. Let's do... And eh, we'll do the guitar. Let's just do a bit of practice. Get a bit of spending money. We'll head over to the Riverside Hotel in a second. Oh, I should buy some stock. Actually, I'll buy stocks tomorrow. The price will probably go down. Oh, this is Dandelion's house's theme. I never noticed that before. But yeah, a lot of the practice songs are just themes found throughout the game. And people really like it, even though I'm doing so-so. Ooh, that, that one didn't go so well. Uh, not a lot of people are stopping. Probably not gonna get a huge amount of cash from this, but it should be enough to do stuff. How much cash did I get? 18. Eh, better than nothing. Alright, so let's go to the stock office first. Actually, no, it's a bit of a walk. We'll go tomorrow. That's right, I want to go tomorrow anyways, just because of the stock price going down. Instead, uh, let's see. We want to head over to the Riverside Hotel. Where's the parking spot for that? There it is. I could have just taken the trolley, actually, now that I think about it. Public transport. It's a thing in this game. The bus was also a thing, but I don't think I'm allowed back on the bus anymore. Because I blew it up. Plus, technically, I am a bus. Actually, more like a taxi service than a bus. A very bumpy taxi service that tends to get into combat sometimes. I'm surprised nobody's jumped out considering the fact that we constantly get attacked. Alright, before we head over to the Riverside Hotel uh, restaurant though, let's go find the owners. Because we did talk to the daughter last night. Let's see, I think the owner's upstairs. Can I get a room? I'm not under age, I think. Actually, I'm not even sure how old Vanilla's supposed to be. I think he's supposed to be like 16. He looks about 16. And I mean, he's old enough to do stuff on his own. Then again, it might not be completely legal for us to drive a Trotmobile. Um, about your musta- Ah, no, let's just get to the point. Hmm. Alright, so that's what he wants to let them get married. Let's go see what the Riverside Hotel owner wants. Probably something similar. Is there anyone out here right now? Nope, that weird guy's gone. 
Also, I don't know why the Riverside Hotel has a loading screen, but the Station Hotel doesn't. Kind of makes me like the Station Hotel better now. Also, it wasn't designed by, like, someone who really likes stairs. Uh, I think he's upstairs, actually. He, or he might be in the lobby. I can never remember where this guy is. Wait, no, this is the lobby. Yeah, no, I kind of like the other hotel better just because you don't have to climb everywhere. Uh... I want to marry... No. Let's not get in between love. Well then. Sounds like we've got a feud going on. Involving the stock market. So yeah, we should probably tell the daughter later. Actually, I think she's downstairs right now. Let's go see her. Plus, it's on the way to the restaurant anyways. Uh, she should be at the front desk. Okay, she's actually technically at the concierge desk. Since for some reason they decided to make the hotel lobby two floors up. Um, your father's kind of trying to weasel his way to the other hotel. What else can we tell her? Also, the other hotel is trying to steal your hotel. Alright, so yeah, another night meeting. Hopefully her fiancé doesn't get suspicious of us. That would be kind of a bad thing. Let's see, stuffed cabbage, pumpkin soup, ravioli, and rare cheesecake. Sounds, sounds nice, actually. Also, we might be a bit underdressed for this. Ah, welcome. You must be vanilla. Your friend is waiting at the table. Also, this is a tiny restaurant. Right this way, please. I'm sorry, were you waiting long? Not at all. Don't worry about it. I will have this with white sauce and the vinaigrette. Excellent choice, madame. And for the gentleman. Uh I'll have, I'll have everything. One of these, two of these and, and those. Thanks, Jeeves. Well, uh, yes, if you are indeed serious, sir. What crawled under his cummerbund? I don't know. What did I just order? So do tell, how was the desert? I've never been there myself, but I hear it's a pretty rough place. Is that a fish head? Hmm. You know what? Let's be positive. A lot of fun. Connie and I swam in an oasis. I forgot to get undressed. Hmm, so there's an oasis there? How can they expect decent people to travel without the train anyway? And with that, we pretty much have our food taken well, care of. How was the food? Uh, it was food. You know, food is food. I see. <laughs> I do like how they called it mediocre because of how I responded. But yeah, technically we could date uh, Savory. But honestly, I always prefer Tawny anyways. Savory is a bit stuck up for my taste. Even if she did pay for dinner. So, can I ask you something? What do you think of everyone in the band? I want your honest opinion. You're one of us now, after all. Basil first. Come on, what do you think of him? He's... Special. Is always cheerful and ready for anything. And I am indifferent. No, I don't really pay that much attention to him. I see. Well, you should at least get to know him a little as a friend. How about Marjoram? Marjoram? Hmm. Let's call him... Reliable. He's reliable, I guess. He's definitely one of those kind and reliable guys. Oh yeah, and very trustworthy. He handles our scheduling and accounting. I think he enjoys it. Next, what about Fennel, the guy who left? Um, he was kind of a jerk. But he plays the guitar. Plays guitar. <laughs> I don't know if that would be a good thing or a bad thing. That's not a bad he thing. Take much more of his guitar. Ah, oh, glad he left. Huh, a little harsh. 
So, what about Connie? You've spent a lot of time with her. Connie... Hmm, oh my god, there's a lot of options. Uh... Let's go with... Gentle. And of course, that's a good thing. She's a kind, gentle person, and I find that attractive. It was nice of her to help you out. You should definitely let her know how much you appreciate it. Okay, lastly, what about me? Savory? Should we make this awkward? No, let's just call her mature. mature than the other. And let's just say her it's a good thing. Is very attractive. Oh god, no, that was a bad option. <laughs> Thanks, but you're embarrassing me, Vanilla. Thanks for talking. I learned a lot about you. Well, if it isn't Sir John. It's been quite a while, sir. Heading home? That's Sir John Mallow, your father. Um... Let's... Wait, you can't go over there now. Oh, why not? Will the others say anything? A lot of people don't like you. It's too dangerous to reveal yourself here. Meet up with him in private. There, St. John's Ward is marked by a green pin. Oh, that's hmm. right. Marjoram wanted to talk to you, so make sure you find him. Tonight was a lot of fun. Thanks. I'm heading back to the hotel. Well, that was fun. Also, apparently we found our father? Hi! Also, yeah, this place only has four tables. But yeah, we should probably stop by there tomorrow. Let's see. Also, apparently from that conversation alone, we lost, like, a hunger status. But yeah, we need to stop by there later. Not right now, though. For now, let's just head back to the hotel. Oh wait, no, it's nighttime. We have a meeting we need to go to. Uh, where did I park? I parked over here. We need to stop by the park real quick. And we might as well try to stop by the hospital, although I think it's closed. Actually, wait, no, it's a hospital. It should be open. Let's go to the park first, and then we'll head over to the, uh, hospital. After all, we should probably meet up with our father at some point. Even though apparently he doesn't like us. Either that or Savory just assumes that everyone hates us at this point. Which, considering half the stuff we've done already, could be a valid assumption. Alright, anyways, where's Rosa? She should be over there? Is that her? Or is that- no, that's her over there, never mind. Also, what is this? It's just a pillar. I was expecting a statue of some kind. I'm disappointed. Yeah, they're both trying to take over the other. Huh, that's actually not a horrible- Actually, no, that could backfire horribly now that I think about it. Uh, sure, why not? Oh, we should have asked if we could take them. Although we couldn't afford them, so it doesn't really matter. Alright, so we need to find a stock buyer. Someone who will basically have enough money to buy all of the stock and own the hotels. Which could go good or bad. But I don't think they actually live in Happy Garland. I don't remember who actually buys the stocks. We'll find them later. Right now, let's head over to uh, St. John's Ward. And then after that, we'll head over to bed. But yeah, we're going to need to find someone who wants a hotel. Technically two hotels. Because if they're going to be buying all of the stock from her sa or her father's safe, they would be getting both hotel stocks. That's got to be worth a lot. We should have taken them. Oh well. But yeah, no, we couldn't afford them even if we wanted to. Although we could buy stocks. Then again, I don't remember if this one makes the uh, stock price go up or down. I don't want to risk it. Right now, honestly, the two things that would be best to invest in are the railroad before we fix it, or until we uh, fix a tunnel, 
And probably the newspaper office, because we still need to build that up. Although we should probably buy those soon. Also, we kind of just parked our Trotmobile in the middle of the entrance. Hopefully no one needs to get in here anytime soon. I wish to see Sir John. Alright, third floor. Also, this is a pretty empty hospital. Alright, this is the second floor. What can I do over here? My stomach hurts. You're a horrible in person. No, you're not. But yeah, you probably shouldn't just wave off patients like that. Anyways, this is the third floor. Uh, I think the office is this one? Yep, director. Mallow isn't here. Also, apparently, yes, we are not Mallow. You... that pendant. I gave that to Mallow for his birthday. Where the hell did you get that? Uh... Why? it's mine. I had it when I woke up on the beach. Beach? Hmm. Hmm. Why don't I tell you a little bit about Mallow? Five years ago, something happened. So he went overseas to attend school. Did you see? He's supposed to be back by now. I received a letter last month stating he would be on the SS Juniper Berry. However, it never arrived. We still don't know exactly what happened. In fact, I have my own suspicions that it sank. Actually, did we ever see the name of that ship we found on Seagull Beach? If anything were to happen to Mallow, if you do find out where he is, you must tell me immediately. Can we claim to be sure Mallow? Not Mallow? Have amnesia? I suppose your name could be Mallow, but you definitely are not my son. That is his pendant, though. You must have met him somehow. If you can find Mallow, perhaps you'll remember who you are as well. For both our sakes, please do your best to find him. All right. So yeah, we are not Mallow, but we should probably find him at some point. Figure out why we have his pendant, and probably you know to and leave the worry on his father. He'll be fine, though. Well, at least now we know everyone doesn't secretly hate us. Or at least they shouldn't secretly hate us. Let's head over back to the hotel. We should probably let the others know. Plus, I don't think there's anything we can grab here anyways. Nothing important anyways. Uh, actually, how far away are we from the hotel? Uh, we're around the corner. You know what? Let's just walk. Although I should probably move my Trotmobile at some point. Because we did just do the equivalent of parking in the ambulance parking spot. Oh well. But yeah, hotel's right over there. Also, uh, Mal Maldrum wanted to see us, didn't he? Let's just see he, what he wants. Welcome. I think he's right over here. No, he's probably up in the room. It is nighttime. Welcome back. I just booked our next gig. Oh, awesome! More money. It's in New Haven. Don Puccini is celebrating the completion of a new ship. We'll be performing on a luxury liner this time. I can't wait. Let's do yeah, this. that sounds like fun. Let's make it our best concert yet. We're leaving for New Haven tomorrow morning, so meet us at Happy Garland Station. Basil and I will be up early, because we have to carry our instruments. <sighs> have a good night. Well, sounds like we're heading to a new town. But we'll do that next time. So, next time on Let's Play Steve Bach Chronicles, we're off to New Haven. So, till then. <laughs>